Hi everyone and welcome back for the next episode in our AI series and this episode we're going to go over briefly uh, nav links and how and what they are and how we use them um, so the current problem we have with AI is if we follow a nav mesh if I would toggle mine on with the P key uh, the nav mesh is this green area here and the current issue is if for example uh, the AI is chasing us or it's following a patrol uh, route around this nav mesh you can see that this part here is not connected to this part here so if it was to jump down from here it can't because it doesn't see a connection like a bridge between these two and this is where nav links come in nav links provide a bridge between different nav mesh segments so our AI will then have the ability to just fall off this ledge we can just co uh, cover falling off the ledge in this episode. Uh, we'll tackle the jumping up or climbing up a ledge in the next episode. So let's get started. So here I have a NPC and I have created a patrol route using some patrol path that I made earlier. And as you can see here, you should go up this one, then to this one, and then jump down to head for this one here. Now this character by default doesn't know how to do that. He'll just walk up to here and then get to uh, patrol path point two and want to, to reach part, uh, point three. He'll need to backtrack down because there's no link, no bridge between these two nav mesh segments. So how do we beat this? Well, if you go into your search box over here on the left and type in nav, you'll see nav link proxy. Drag one of these out and put it into your world. Now a lav link is basically just a bridge between uh, two nav mesh segments. If I turn on my nav mesh segments on like so, you can see the details of this nav link. So what I want to do is I want to put one point on its exit. Okay, so I say it can jump down from there to there. And this one up here, I want to just make sure that it's in the green area, okay? Because he needs to be able to see where this is, and he can only see it if it's in the green nav mesh. So the next thing we need to do is tweak uh, the directional flow. Now by default, it will go both ways, meaning the AI will be able to go down and up. I just want him just to just fall off the edge, so I just want him to go down okay now you can see here i've got a right point and a left point and if i go down to my details panel you'll see link direction and you'll see by default it says both ways you can change that to be left to right or right to left in this case i want it to go right to left and that's it they're pretty simple so if i click play now and let him walk his path you'll see the character go up the stairs round to his patrol path points and then fall off the ledge and there you have it the AI has successfully fallen off the ledge there so now he's going to chase me and he should hopefully follow me off this ledge here too like so gets a bit stuck we need to tweak that a little bit but he still falls off the ledge which is what we want and as I said, in the next episode, we'll handle the uh, the trigger of him going up it as well. Um, so, for example, if I were to um, if I were to let's change this to both ways, and if I get him to If I distract him like so, you'll see he's trying to get up here, but he can't. He knows that he has a bridge there, he just can't get up there because there's a wall in the way. So we need to uh, tell him to jump up here, or climb up here. And that's going to come into play when we start building more smart nav links, and we'll do that in the next episode. Oh, well, thanks for watching. If you have any more AI requests, please let me know, let me know in your comments below. And if you want to support me, uh, making these videos head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Ellie uh, big thank you and shout out to everyone uh, supporting me 
so far. Um, over there you'll get early access to videos, Discord access and many more benefits too. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.